Now let us study about the accessory reproductive organs of male. In male, there are mainly three accessory reproductive organs which includes prostate gland, seminal vesicle, that is it occurs in pair and bulbourethral gland. These three organs together combine to form semen. Semen is a substance or a fluid which helps in carrying out the spermatogenesis process. So let us begin with the first accessory reproductive organ that is seminal vesicle. As said earlier, the seminal vesicle occurs in pair and is located at the base of the urinary bladder. This seminal vesicle produce about 60% fluid within semen. Now this fluid contains various substances like vitamin C, other sugars, and various other substances due to which the semen production occurs in thick and yellowish color. Thus because of this nourishment of the sperms occurs. Now these seminal vesicles joins with the vast difference to form ejaculatory duct. Thus, it is the duct of seminal vesicle which combines with the vast difference. to form ejaculatory duct. which is thereby also considered as an accessory reproductive organ due to its origin from the seminal vesicle. Thus, seminal vesicle and sperms together enters the urethra. Following it comes the next accessory reproductive organ that is prostate gland. Prostate gland is considered as an accessory reproductive organ of male which is located at the posterior region of the urinary bladder. The secretion that is secreted by prostate gland is milky. And such a secretion helps in the activation of sperm. That is, it helps in activating these sperms. Thus, these 
prostate gland by activating the sperm enters into the urethra through various small ducts. Following it comes the third type of accessory reproductive organ, bulbar urethral gland. This gland is located beneath the prostate gland. That is, it is located on the lateral side of urethra. Such a gland also secretes the secretion like that of prostate gland. That is, it secretes an alkaline secretion or alkaline fluid which acts as a lubricating agent that is acts as lubricative which helps during the sexual intercourse. Now let us study about semen. As said earlier, semen is a fluid that is formed by the mixture of the secretion of the accessory gland that is seminal vesicle, bulbo urethral gland and prostate gland. Now semen can be defined as a milky, white and waxy substance which is formed by the combination of sperm and secretion of accessory reproductive glands. Now, what is the main function of this semen? The basic function of semen within the male reproductive system is to maintain the pH. Here, pH defines to maintain the acidity or basicity of the substance present within. Thus, the semen has an average pH of 7.2 to 7.5 which indicates its basic nature or alkaline nature as a result of which it possesses a milky and alkaline secretion. This semen helps to neutralize The acidic secretion which has a pH of about 3.5 to 4 of the vaginal fluid And in this way, it helps in the protection of sperms
and thereby helps in enhancing its motility. Thus, the basic about the sperm motility is mainly due to the semen secretion. The average volume of each semen during every ejaculation is of about 3 to 4 ml during each ejaculation. This was all about semen. Now let us start with the next reproductive organ that is penis. Penis can be defined as a cylindrical organ which is located at the frontal region of the scrotal sac. The main function of this reproductive organ is to deposit sperms into the female vagina. The distal end of the penis is slightly enlarged which is called as glans penis. Thus, as it can be seen from the figure, glans penis is a structure which is located at the distal end of the penis which is in the form of enlarged structure that is located in the frontal region of the scrotum. Thus, glans penis can be defined as the distal region of the penis which is enlarged and is covered by loosely fitting skin which is called as foreskin. Now let us study about, it, about its internal structure. Internally, the penis is composed of three cylindrical masses of tissue that are bound together by fibrous tissue. Out of these three, the two are located dorsally and one occurs ventrally. And it is this one which contains the urethra. All these three masses of fibrous tissue or the cylindrical one contain tissue which are sponge-like
that contains blood sinuses. That is, these three tissues of penis are sponge-like containing blood sinus, due to which it gets filled with blood during sexual arousal. This filling of blood is mainly due to the presence of blood sinuses. As a result of this filling of blood, the penis gets enlarged and rigid. Thus, enlargement of penis occurs which is now rigid. Such an event of the enlargement of penis which becomes rigid during the filling of blood at time of sexual arousal is known as erection. That is, the erection can be defined the event that takes place during sexual arousal or we can say sexual intercourse where the penis getting filled with blood gets enlarged and rigid Thus, this is all about the reproductive organs of the male. Now, let us start with the female reproductive system.